Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and uh, today I thought I would give you an insight of what happens at the change of seasons at my house. So, uh, while I was on vacation, my son sent me a text and was like, oh my god, it's going to frost, what do I do? I said, throw all of the bonsais and uh, delicate items in the basement, including my peppers that I save year over year. And that's what he did. Uh, this only means that I have to clean the basement and trim everything up before I can get to my next set of worm videos. <laughs> so I've got some work to do down here. Um, you've got peppers, 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 figs, mangoes or avocados? Not sure. Uh, more peppers, more peppers, more figs, more peppers, more peppers, avocados, plant, plant, there's grandpa pepper, uh, more avocados, and let's take a walk into the next room. Okay, so then we have house plants and bonsais over here. And then as we scan through, then we have more bonsais house plants, house plants, more house plants. Some of these can go back outside. I think he, you know, I just told him to err on the side of caution. If it looked like it might be delicate, throw it in the basement. Uh, here's my little mango tree. Fig, which fell over. I'm going to have lots of worms in my plants now. But uh, the worms have been taking care of my delicate little plants while I was on vacation. Of course, a good number of these can go back outside, thank God, because there's no room in the bonsai slash worm slash orchid room. And today, I'm going to show you me prepping and putting away my peppers for the winter. First things first, I'm going to get a tray under there to catch the water from when I water them. It's just a a boot tray from like a home improvement store. Okay. First thing we do is trim it up and, and see what fits. All the scraps will get fed to the worms. Whoop, even got a pepper. Okay, that looks severe, but that's, that's what you want to do in the winter time. You want to get it down to just a few leaves and nothing more. Um, that way it doesn't expend a lot of energy. The lights are only on down here when I'm filming the worms, so that's all the more light they get, and I do have really good success. So this guy is going to get a handful of worm castings, and then he's ready to go. just a tiny bit of water. Water in the castings. And then he's done. Put him in the back there. All right, on to the next one. This is my first time overwintering an ancho pepper. So hopefully that will work. Um, I do have good green leaves down here, so for everybody that was like, oh my god, you just did not do that. Yes, I did. So, I'm not trying to really grow peppers downstairs, not this time of year. I am just really trying to make sure the plant stays alive. So I'm just going to leave the barest amount of leaves. Um, I, I would say that about 90% of them live. Right. These two get their worm castings and a tiny bit of water. Back they go. Ooh. Okay, so 
This one's going to need a bigger haircut here. Got a pepper that's going to grow. These are Anaheim peppers, which is what I think Grandpa Pepper is. And that's what I've had the best success with. I've overwintered uh, jalapenos and Anaheim with uh, really good success. And uh, so we'll just keep at it. I lost probably four or five last year. Um, probably just because I went on vacation. Didn't set them up for success while I was gone. But you don't want to leave any fruit or any flowers. And keep the the branches up high. You don't want to leave branches that are low to the soil. Just in general, that's not a good idea. It, you know, attracts pests when they're outside. So I'm just doing a combination of, you know, with my hand and then with the pruners. They've all been potted in just normal uh, potting soil. I didn't make it, just bought yield generic potting soil when I dug them up out of the ground because they were in the garden this year. I don't leave them in pots. I don't have good luck with that for production of peppers. This one doesn't look real good, um, but we'll see. This is one of the ones that was overwintered last year, and for some reason it's just not taking the transition real well. But I've got some good live leaves over here. And again, that's another Anaheim pepper. Most of them I have more than one pepper plant in. So, just to conserve space, the, uh, the peppers, they don't need a lot right now. I do save the peppers when I find them, though. So, as of right now, it's... Uh, November 20th. So I just have to keep these guys in slow mo until probably March. I'll bring the camera a little closer. So you can see that I'm, I'm looking for any sort of life, signs of life, as far down as I can go to make the pepper smaller. So conserves energy and also it does have a, a better chance of survival the smaller it is and the less it has to photosynthesize. So yeah, that looks harsh, but these will live and I will have uh, good peppers, you know, in May, which here in zone five is, is, you know, not possible any other way. Be waiting until June or something. But these, I think these are jalapenos. Nope, holy moly. They're holy moly peppers. Alright, so they're in a two gallon pot here and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Alright, I'll put you back up on the tripod and we can finish this up. Yeah. 
All right, and here's the grandpa pepper. He's not going to be able to stay on this shelf. He's too tall. Um, but I thought I'd let you see that in comparison to my hand or my wrist, this is what a seven-year-old pepper plant looks like. This will be his seventh winter, and he's still trying to put out little baby peppers. I will harvest that out, uh, but let me move you around so we can see me cleaning him up for the winter. All right, and here is Grandpa Pepper. And just for scale, here is a soda bottle. So he's not as big as a soda bottle yet, but he is certainly getting there. And I'm getting peppers now because I have not trimmed off everything yet, but let's let's get him finished trimmed up and then he can go dormant for the winter. Let's see, right now he's about 22 inches tall. And I know this isn't how you measure tree girth, but he's an inch and a half. So let's get him trimmed up. First, we're going to want to get rid of all of these little peppers. If anybody lives in a climate where they overwinter peppers outside, uh, put in the comments below what do you do. Um, I think there's one garden channel that I watch that does it, and I think they still bring them inside or put them in the garage. But if you personally do it, let me know. Uh, Grandpa Pepper is an Anaheim pepper, and year after year, I would, this year I think he accounted for half of my peppers that I got. But you can see how gnarly he gets, you know, the the trunk of the tree, like right here. Because <laughs> he is a tree at this point. I, I think he gets to be credit for a tree. He's not, he's not just a pepper plant anymore. He's been elevated to the status of a tree. Right now I'm just making decisions that will increase the health of the tree, making sure it gets good air to it.
getting rid of anything dead. Okay, let's see if we can get them on the shelf now. All right, there is Grandpa Pepper all trimmed up. Now let's get him some worm castings and a little bit of water. Okay, he's getting more than a handful in here. Let me get the rest of the babies and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here is the final final tally here. We've got Grandpa Pepper, which is a Ancho or a uh, Anaheim pepper. I have these two Ancho peppers. Have another Anaheim here. Um, these are jalapenos. I think everything that doesn't have a tag is a jalapeno. Pretty sure. Uh, more Anaheims here and jalapenos in here and holy moly's in there so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one if we include grandpa pepper now you can tell that these two um, are a couple of years old uh, I think these are two or three years old. I'd have to go back and look. One of their cohorts are, are in there as well. well. And everything with a really green stem is new this year. So there we go. Overwintering peppers in Zone 5A in Illinois. Uh, and this is winter number seven for Grandpa Pepper. All right, guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family and plant family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my peppers. And everybody, have a good day.